so for me, the first the first uh, actual you know embezzlement that I was personally involved with, or aware, I was involved with it, but aware of, was a company that I worked for, and the accounting the accountant was um, was basically funneling money away. And through all the, you know, internal, the internal audits of which, of course, she was the one doing, uh, everything looked fine. And ultimately, the company that I worked for uh, was undergoing an acquisition or, or let's say being a, being approached to uh, do an acquisition. And so the company that was doing the acquisition had their own uh, third party accountants do an audit and that's where they discovered the anomaly and it turned out that the accountant had been stealing like 50,000 a year for four or five years and this Accounts was a person and bookkeepers too bookkeepers th- yeah too. And, and this was a person that the the company fully trusted you know had no reason to ever question their integrity or anything and just blown away that that was happening and so uh- um, you know, when I started looking into this topic, this embezzlement topic, man, that's what I found was most of the time, in most cases, the embezzlement that happens, that at least on the research I did, was the smaller, let's say, considered a small business, right? Uh, by the U.S. business. What is small business? You know, less what than, let's say, less than 50, 50 employees. Empo- yeah, 50 employees. So less than 50 employees. And you mentioned that earlier. You hired your friend or your family member, and so you totally trust them, and, and uh, you know, that trust gets betrayed unfortunately and you only find out when you want to sell your company (laughs) if they're really good at it and they're using that trust to camouflage sucking some money out and you don't know because you're not dying a death of oh i got profit i'm fine oh i made i'm doing better than last year i'm fine well you know you're really not fine and you'd rather know than not know i believe but there's a lot of people that even if they suspect they don't they won't even check it out 